Imagine if information about the health of your community could help shape the special services on offer at your local GP or hospital. Imagine if information about the development of children in your area could be used for planning the best possible early childhood programs and schooling. Most people expect that government data will be used for decision making. And now new capabilities in linking data make this possible while preserving the highest standards of privacy and safety. Social researchers and policy makers can use linked data to better understand the characteristics and needs of the population, promoting development of better tailored health and social services for the community. Over a lifetime, an individual accesses many services, provided by lots of different organisations. Each time, information about who they are and what service they accessed is recorded. We call these records administrative data. Over the years, organisations collect a wealth of administrative data. Within each organisation, there are data custodians. Their job is to manage the organisation's data and ensure that client privacy and confidentiality is maintained. Each organisation generally only uses its data in-house to meet their own specific needs. And because this data is not easily shared, it's often impossible to discover important relationships and trends across multiple data sets. However, the process of data linkage, as used at SANT DataLink, allows for data to be totally de-identified, providing a completely safe and secure means for sharing data to make important discoveries. Let's consider the following example of where a researcher using linked data can make a valuable contribution to society. Years of inquiry has led our researcher to suspect that babies born too early might have some difficulties at school. If she is correct, she believes that services could be set up to better support their development. Realising that she will need birth, health and education data to properly test her theory, she decides that linked data will be a valuable research tool. So she enlists the help of SANT DataLink. A DataLink research advisor facilitates a round table negotiation with the custodians of the hospital birth data, the early childhood health check data, and the educational outcome data. During the negotiations, the custodians comment on her research questions and raise any concerns they may have about the use of their data sets. The meeting has ensured that the data will be able to answer her questions and that the data custodians support her research. Next, our researcher seeks ethics approval. Satisfied that her research is ethical and will benefit the community without breaching the privacy of others, she is granted permission to proceed. The custodians from the participating organisations are notified of her ethics approval and give their final sign-off on the application. DataLink is also notified and having received this final go-ahead, the process of linking the data for this research project is initiated. SANT DataLink can now get to work. The linkage team access their highly secure master linkage files. extracting only the data needed for this particular research project and run it through advanced computer software. This software links all the records belonging to each individual across all the required data sets. Once the links are discovered, each individual is assigned a unique and random code called a linkage key. Each linkage key will be used by the researcher later to link the many records belonging to each separate individual across all these data sets. SANT DataLink returns the linkage keys 
attached to each individual's client ID numbers to the relevant custodians. The custodians extract the service data belonging to each individual, attaching their linkage keys and erasing their client IDs. What's left is delivered to the researcher. Because each individual's linkage key is unique, and because it has now replaced all other identifying data, our researcher can now link the records of each individual across the data sets, without ever knowing who each individual is. Using the linked data, our researcher discovers that while some of the babies born too early do go on to become child prodigies, she also found that they are more likely to have some difficulties in their early schooling. She delivers her findings to policymakers, service planners, the data custodians and some of her peers. They are impressed with the relevance, timeliness and accuracy of her research and decide to develop some pilots of promising early childhood development programs. As a result of this and other linked data projects, government departments are now working more closely with one another to provide services which are more joined up around the needs of the community.